Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are talking about adding positive and negative decimals. A little bit different than our last lesson on just adding regular positive and negative numbers. But it should look pretty familiar. Positive and negative numbers are opposites. Positive numbers on a number line would move from left to right. Negative numbers would be moving towards the left. So you notice this looks very similar to what we did before. When we add positive and negative numbers, this is what happens. This is the example of 0 0.3 plus negative 0 0.4. We start at 0 and move those directions, and we'll end up at the point negative 0 0.1. Now, these two numbers, 0 0.3 and negative 0 0.4, are being added. So you should be able to add in any order. So let's go ahead and reverse that. We knew our solution was 0 0.1. What if we started with negative 0 0.4, and then we added 0 0.3 onto it? Notice we get the same solution. So adding positive and negative numbers follow all the same rules of adding, only there's a little bit more to it. And we'll explain that in just a little bit. Here's another example. We have 0 0.5. We add on negative 0 0.2. We'll end up with 0 0.3 as the solution. So, to do this without using a number line, just like adding other numbers, we follow the same exact rules. If the signs are the same, we add them, or we find the sum. If the signs are different, then you find the difference, or you subtract them. Now, if you subtract them, you take the final sign from the larger digit. And I put larger in a little quotation there, because it doesn't necessarily be lo mean larger. It's technically the larger absolute value or the larger number when you ignore the signs. And we'll see examples of that in just a second. Let's do this. If we're asked to evaluate 3.7 plus negative 2.5, the signs are different, so we're going to find the difference between these two numbers. Or in other words, we're going to subtract. 3.7 minus 2.5 gives us 1.2. And now we need to find the final sign. The final sign in this case will be positive because 3.7 is larger than 2.5. So we have more positives than we have negatives. Makes sense. Let's look at another question. So, well, first off, our solution is positive 1.2. So let's do another question. Negative 85.12 plus positive 85.12. The signs are different in this case. The first number is negative, the second number is positive. So we're going to find the difference. In other words, we're going to subtract. 85.12 minus 85.12 gives you 0. This is a rule in adding. If two numbers are opposites and you add them together, you get 0. So in this case, our final answer is 0. It kind of looks like solution O at the bottom there. Now for our last type of question is when we have to add in some substitution. So we're evaluating x plus y when x is 5.43 and y is 2.31. So we'll start out by substituting x in for x and y in for y. Same as regular substituting, only they have decimals in there. These ones, the signs are the same, so we're just going to add them together. 5.43 plus 2.31 will give you 7.74. The final sign is positive because both numbers are positive. So our solution would be 7.74. I'm showing you this question. It may look a little more straightforward and simple than the previous ones. It has no negative numbers. Just to show you those steps, we're going to follow the same steps when we solve one where we're substituting negative numbers. So let's look at that next. When we're asked to evaluate a plus b when a is negative 7.34 and b is negative 19.25, go ahead and pause the recording. Try this one out. See if you get the same things that I do when I show you the solution. Our first step is to substitute. Negative 7.34 goes in for a and negative 19.25 will go in for b. 
So negative 7.34 plus negative 19.25. They're two negative numbers. If the sign is the same, we add the numbers. 7.34 plus 19.25 gives us 26.59. The final sign will be negative because both numbers were negative. So we had a negative number and we added on even more negatives. It gives us a bigger negative number or more negative numbers. Negative 26.59. So just a quick reminder, if the signs are the same, you find the sum. If the signs are different, you find the difference. Rules for adding decimals are the same as the rules for adding positive and negative numbers. Hope that lesson's been helpful for you and have a wonderful day.